When you want to keep two words together on the same line, you can do it by using a non-breaking space. That's the focus of this quick tip, where you discover two ways to add a non-breaking space to your text. As you type away in your document, Word is always keeping track of where you are. When you reach the right margin of the page and Word cannot fit the word that you are typing on the current line, it automatically wraps that word to the next line. Sometimes, however, you may want to make sure that two adjacent words appear on the same line. This is particularly true when you are typing initials, for instance. Right down here, you can see that we have the initial A followed by the last name Lincoln, as in Abraham Lincoln. If we type something in here, you can see that it moves the last name to the second line. But I may not want that first initial separated from the last name. Instead, I want to keep the whole name together. Well, in this case, all that I need to do is go right back here, and if I'm typing this name in here, I'll start right here at the left hand side so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to type A period and then all I'm going to do is hold down the control key and the shift key as I press the space bar. Now notice what happened right here. A normal space shows up as a little dot on the screen. In this case, however, the space shows up as like almost a degree symbol. It's, it's a round shape that appears just a little bit higher on that line. That way we know that it's different from a regular space. It's a non-breaking space. And if I go back and I delete the, in, the initial that was here, you can see that the initial stays with the last name on the uh, other line. You can see this if I go back and I get rid of the word real in here. It's pulled up on one line, but if I go ahead and I type real, you see that it moved it as a block to the next line so that it was always kept together. Now I can also go back and replace that uh, space with a non-breaking space by going, well, we'll go right in here and we see that we have that space uh, that's in there again. But if I want to replace that space, all I have to do is select it and again press Shift Control Spacebar. It replaced that space because I had it selected before I typed. It replaced that space with the non breaking space. If you find it hard to remember the Control Shift Spacebar shortcut, then there is a second way that you can use to insert a non breaking space. All you have to do is position the insertion point. Oh, let's say we're gonna put it right up here. Position the insertion point where you want the non-breaking space. Click on the Insert tab of the ribbon. And over here on Symbols, we're gonna click Symbols. And under Symbol, we're going to click More Symbols. And that displays the Symbol dialog box. Notice that there's a tab here that says Special Characters. And in this special characters tab of the dialog box, I can select non-breaking space right down here. And all I have to do is click insert. It has now inserted it in my document. I click on close and you can see that that non-breaking space has been inserted right after the word will. And I can get rid of the uh, regular space that follows that and now my non-breaking space is in the document just like I wanted it. Now you know how to keep your text from breaking at the end of a line when it otherwise should break. If you liked this quick tip, make sure that you click the subscribe button and then click the bell. That way you'll be notified whenever new videos are added to the Word Tips channel. Thanks for spending a few moments with me today.